Yeah, hi there. In these comments, I'm going to just use your initials uh, PL. And I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. And let's take a look at your situation. So you took the TOEFL last year, you got 500, you had 10 points on the reading, 8 points on the listening. You had 17 points on the writing and speaking. So obviously you want to make some improvements in your listening and your reading. You say, I'm interested in buying your course next month because now I only have a debit card. It doesn't allow me to purchase your course from here, Ecuador. I'm getting a credit card to have access to your program, but I need your recommendations I, you say it could be possible. I think you want to say, could it be possible I, that I obtain 20 points in each skill in five months? Uh, uh, let's see. So you want to go from 54 to 80. <coughs> I'm going to say it's possible. I'm not going to say it's easy, but it's possible. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and post a link in here for you. I recommend... At this point, my 90-day TOEFL study guide, I think that's probably the, the best thing for you now. It'll probably take you more than 90 days to go through this study guide because I have two other suggestions. You might want to write these down. Now, the first thing I want to tell you is, <coughs> excuse me, is you want to make sure you get in the habit. Anybody who watches any of my videos at YouTube will tell you I say the same thing over and over. I want you to spend about 45 minutes reading magazines, newspapers, and longer books. This is very important. Secondly, get in the habit of practicing listening about 45 to 60 minutes a day. In this case, you can practice news programs, documentary programs, history programs, and also science programs. Now, if you... Uh, don't have access to TV in English. I'll give you a couple of websites here. This one, it's called nationalpublicradio.org. NPR.org. This particular website will give you a lot of good practice with all kinds of listening, cultural events, politics, science, history, you get a lot of good practice in a lot of different areas at National Public Radio. It's an online website, very good practice for you. Now, secondly, if you use Google and you type in these keywords, you can also find another website. A lot of students also practice here. This is called TED Talks. TED Talks has videos along with the subtitles in like 58 different languages, if you can believe it. But at TED Talks, you'll get like lectures from professors, motivational speakers, scientists, uh, people all over the world. They'll be talking about all kinds of fascinating topics, and that's also very good for your listening. Now, in either case, PL, as you're practicing your reading and your listening, get in the habit of note-taking. Make sure you get down in note form. This is going to be hard, but if you keep doing this over and over and over for a few months, you'll get much better at your note-taking. You want to focus on the main and the most important supporting points of these reading and listening passages. This is going to be very, very useful for you. All right, and now using your notes, you can do two things. Using your notes, you can practice writing a summary about the reading and the listening passages. You can also use your notes to orally summarize this information. Now, of course, what you're doing here is you're not just doing reading practice or listening practice. You're also practicing your integrated writing and your integrated speaking proficiencies. That's also good. Now, if you do that two hours a day, every day, just that, that alone will help you begin to make progress. You will become much more familiar with the uh, spoken and the written language by following those two suggestions. Now, in addition, using my 90-day TOEFL study guide, you can spend about one to two hours every day in addition to the reading and the listening. You can practice directly at my online TOEFL course. So in the reading and the listening areas, I have a lot of great lessons. 
Uh, I have a lot of good uh, practice tests and quizzes to help you do better. Now, if you think about reading for a minute, and you have to ask yourself, reading is a very stubborn skill. You want to make improvements here. There's kind of five things that you need to do to make your reading better. Number one, do what I just said. You want to practice reading about, it, about 45 minutes every day for several months. Number two, you have to build your vocabulary. That's why you're joining my course. You can learn 1,700 words in the vocabulary section of my course. Number three, you want to work on improving your reading speed. That's another reason you're joining my course. You can improve your reading speed at my course from 100 to 350 words a minute. And that's going to help you read faster. And faster readers, believe it or not, they have better comprehension than slower readers. As long as you gradually slowly but surely increase that reading speed it will benefit you you will be able to remember more and you will be able to read much faster in the long run by increasing your reading speed number four you have to become familiar with the IBT reading test taking strategies you have to identify the questions and the strategies for answering these kinds of questions you can also learn those in the reading section of my course and finally, you can take TOEFL level reading practice test. In fact, what I recommend for you is you already have a TOEFL score now, right? So you know where you are more or less. Now, right before you're ready to take the actual TOEFL IBT, you can take a full length IBT practice test at my website. You can do that. And um, it's a four and a half hour exam. You'll get all six speaking tasks are scored. Both of your writing tasks will be scored. Your reading and your listening, everything. You'll have a pretty good idea of what your reading proficiency is. I mean, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, you'll have a pretty good idea of what your overall TOEFL uh, proficiency is by taking that full length practice test. All righty. Anyway, PL, thank you for your comments. So in the video, I gave you really three main suggestions to help you move forward with your academic English language and to help you get closer to your goal of getting 20 points on all sections of the exam, the reading, listening, writing, and speaking areas, right? So anyway, th thank you very much for your comments and all the best to your high-scoring TOEFL success and I look forward to having you as a student.